Hello everybody. Um yeah. <laughs> yeah, this week I will be only doing prediction on one fight because it, it's the only really really important and interesting fight for me anyway. And that is Arthur Beterbiev versus uh, Joe Smith Jr. Well, well, some of you may say Beterbiev, but you know who I mean. <laughs> uh, yeah, so, you know, Beterbiev is on the field, 17 and old, old, wins by knockout. His last fight was in this December last year when he knocked out Marcus Brown in nine rounds. And Joe Smith Jr. has a record of 28 wins, 22 by knockout, and three losses and one by knockout, which was very early in his career against a guy called Eddie Caminero. Of course, he's the most famous for knocking out Bernard Hopkins, but also he beat Jesse Hart uh, on points and stopped Elader Alvarez. You know, since he lost the last time to Dimitri Biol in 2019, he has improved, obviously. And uh, yeah, he now holds the WBO title, which he won against Maxime Vlasov. Uh, in April last year, so he's since then made one defense of it in January this year when he knocked out Steve Jeffrard. Uh, so this is a big world title unification fight, of course, as well as being probably the most exciting fight in the light heavyweight division. Yeah, <laughs> so you know. This is, of course, a, a fight of two two big punchers. We know that both are really big, heavy hitters, and uh, so there is a big chance, of course, of a knockout happening here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so, of course, uh, Better Vie, who is undefeated, is going to be favored by most. Uh, sports writers, I believe, and other experts. However, uh, I would say it's he, he is the only favorite to win here, of course, because uh, Joe Smith Jr. has shown that he has learned from his uh, losses and from his mistakes, uh, er, from his earlier mistakes, and uh, that he hits, he does, of course, hit hard enough to even knock out with Terbiev, uh, who has only been down once before, I think, against Callum Johnson. So, yeah, that's right. Hmm. Or has he been down any other time? I don't know. Doesn't seem seem like it. So, Carl Johnson, you know, he doesn't hit any harder than Joe Smith Jr., for sure. <laughs> so, you know, you know what I'm hinting at. He can at least, you know, that he is capable of dropping the Terbia, if nothing. And that can also, of course, influence the score, the scorecards. I mean, uh, yeah, I mean, if Joe Smith Jr. Would, should be able, he doesn't have to win by an if Anyway, he is uh, the American fighter here, fighting at home, you know. And uh, if he manages to just score a knockdown and go the distance and win like six rounds, of course, that, that will be enough for him to win. So it's better that actually probably will have to score a knockout to win here, or at least be really dominant. But I, I don't think he can be so dominant that he wins like, eight or nine rounds against Smith because, <laughs> you know, Smith uh, Jr. is no joke, you know, as I said, so, uh, yeah, so both guys hit hard enough to knock each other out, <laughs> which is a very exciting uh, kind of uh, situation.
Um, let's see. Uh, the, the thing is that Baterbio has never had to go past. Uh, well, once he went to, into the 12th round, but that was once only in 2017 when he won the IBF title. Yeah, doesn't matter, I guess, who it was. <laughs> and uh, and I guess his most impressive victory so far was when he stopped Alexander Gwazdik. But that was a pretty competitive fight, I mean, and uh, Bateria did take some big shots, and, uh, you know, but he seems to have a really good chin. Yeah, I would say so. Uh, otherwise, they are pretty evenly matched in height. Smith only like half an inch tall, I believe. Yeah, six feet, and uh, Materia is five eleven and a half. Also, the the Smith has a longer reach, actually, by three inches. Wow. Yeah. But otherwise, I would say, of course, the most obvious favorite here is Materia, simply because he's un un unbeaten and. Uh, has so far been nothing but impressive, uh, knocked out, knocked everybody out. You know he has had less fights, uh, far less than Smith Jr. Yeah, that, you know uh, the problem with Smith Jr. earlier has been that he could sometimes, you know, he would usually start off well, but then he would, you know, like uh, I don't know, like. Kind of lose focus, maybe, or something like that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, he's not a really technical fighter, but uh, he's proved recently that he can win on points also. Like when he beat Jesse R. Jr., he uh, does enough simply to win it. You know, he's no really, he's not a very, like, uh, Technically poor fighter either, I would say. It's just that he's a natural puncher. And the same goes for better beer. He's uh you know he can box when needed, but he hasn't really needed to do so much so far, you know. But uh you know, he's good at, you know, picking his shots and all that, you know, finding the right timing, you know, to Throw the big, big shots, shots, and uh, yeah. So, <laughs> without saying much more, I would, I think, uh, well, I think this will be a very, very competitive fight for one thing, and uh, <clears throat> but I just think, uh, yeah, as I said, Smith would have to. Like score and knock, knock down and go the distance, and we win, you know, at least five rounds together with the decision, or it can end, end in a draw as well. But I think, uh, still, you know, you gotta like still slightly favor Beterbia because he's un unbeaten and uh, you know, he's just proven himself as a uh, you know. Probably the best, along with Bivol, the best light heavyweight. Even though he's now pushing, you know, the envelope, like <laughs> he's 37, you know, so you might wonder how much longer has he got left of his prime. You know? So that's one thing that might, might work against him, you know. So he hasn't had a fight for six months, and Joe Smith Jr. is 32, so he's still, you know, in a in a, <laughs> a relatively good you know age uh, yeah still so you know I don't I don't know <laughs> we might even get surprised but uh, I am not ruling out the Smith Junior victory but still you know uh, it's hard really to predict this one because. Uh, yeah, 
as I said, that Terbiyev has never lost before, and really he's just knocked out everybody. And, uh, Marcus Brown, of course, was no joke either. Callum Johnson, uh, Radiway, Kalajic, all those guys are all solid, very solid fighters. So I think actually probably Beteria will win again. You know? uh, but if he doesn't stop Joe Smith Jr., then who knows? It may end, like as I said, in a draw or a split decision for Joe for Smith. Who knows? It can go that way too. But anyway, I'm really looking forward to this fight, and I know you you are also. <laughs> so that would be all. Uh, Till the next time, uh, I'll see you all. Have a good one. Bye.